up everybody, Matt Nudja, windy day here, south side, Camp Hatteras. Got some nice little bumps out there, kind of choppy and sloppy, but it'd be great for the wing. So today we're gonna review the new Core Halo Pro. So, got a bunch of questions about this one, like is this just an XC with a boom and a Lula? Is it different, is it the same wing? Does a Lula really, does like weight really make a difference? Like does having a lighter wing actually really benefit? The benefit with a Lula is that it's lighter weight and extremely stiff. So is it too stiff? Does it not have enough give? And then like, how's this boom work? Like, is it better than the handles, worse than the handles? I will tell you a couple things I don't like already. Core's valve, he has a proprietary valve. So Duotone, Core, Nash, anyone that's using proprietary valves for your pump. I just got all set up and then had to drive home from my other pump that had the right valve on it, it's such a pain. Also their bag, like, they've got this like really nice like sausage bag, but I mean that bag's as long as my board. It's got a big hard boom in there. And then the zipper here goes to here, so it's like kind of a pain to put the thing back in there. So looks really nice, but it is definitely a little bit more challenging to put a wing back in once it's inflated, just because the boom is the exact length of the zipper, so it's like you gotta kind of jigger it back in. Overall, the wing's been really great. We've been loving the wing. But let's get on the water. We'll go over some of those questions that we want to answer and uh, enjoy this session. All right, so the Halo does not come with a leash and they give you the option to kind of pick aftermarket leashes or their own leash. This is their wing waist leash. You know, nice and adjustable. They've got this really kind of cool, strong, it's almost like kite leash, but it's skinnier, bungee. It does have a swivel on it, so it's cool. I do like on the waist leashes, ones that double back because, I mean, this is a big, sturdy buckle, but, you know, I'm always afraid. I'm, I've never, like, false released it but i'm always kind of afraid that i'm gonna do that so yeah and this halo like it is super light you know it's not as light as like the ocean rodeo wing you know it's about a half pound heavier than some of the ocean rodeo glide but it is lighter than the x8 handle test seems to be sitting all right see this wing's got a fair amount of sweep up on the the wing tips it does sit pretty well as on the inside it was really like super turbulent and it doesn't you know will flip after after a while because those really swept up wing tips so those really turned up wing tips doesn't kind of hold it down but it does pretty well i mean you saw it sat there for, for, for a bit so i mean some wings you literally let go of the leash and it lands on its back which is super annoying Skinny boom too, so it's super works really really well. It's really easy to, to handle. Or really easy to handle boom, I guess. That's terrible. Nice, that weight definitely helps on luffing out. First question, is the Halo Pro just an XE in a Lula? And a boom. No, this is definitely a different feeling wing. Feels a little bit more performance oriented, but it does have that kind of user friendliness that the XE had. Um, the boom makes it really user friendly because your hands just go anywhere. It does kind of point up wind better. You can kind of shoot in really crank up wind. Um, I actually think it luffs out better too. Uh, so that's kind of like the two things that I really have been enjoying on this. And then the second question is, does weight matter? So this wing luffs out really well. And a lot of that is due to the shape, but a lot of it's due to the lightweight. You know, that lightweight does tend to luff out better because it doesn't have any tail drag particularly when you go right down it down at, at the wing so uh two thumbs up so far on them making a unique and cool fun wing
successful luffing is straight downwind and this thing's doing pretty well. Uh, this front handle, they've improved but not enough. It's still pretty floppy. It could be a little more rigid. Core did a great job with this wing. Really, really enjoy it. The Alula totally works. This is the, kind of the most balanced Alula wing that we've used, particularly in the overpowered end. I wanted to try it kind of lit up. Um, it's like 15 to 25 today on a five meter. I want to try it kind of lit up because just to see, because a lot of uh, Alula wings are so jumpy. You just feel everything. So this one has been really impressive. It actually is really uh, quite balanced. I had a little more backhand pressure than I would have liked you know, when I, like, at the top of the range, but overall, you kind of just slide your hand on that boom. It's, like, super nice to slide your hand around the boom. Uh, really skinny diameter on the boom, too, which I really like. Uh, and, you know, they definitely improved this. I think they can keep making that stiffer, um, but it does luff out quite well. You can see if it just hold the thing here, it just kind of just stays pretty steady, stays in the handle. So I think anyone at any ability level can ride this. You know, really who's it for is someone that is a discerning customer. Most people are gonna kind of find that the XE is a little bit more uh, user friendly. And this is gonna be for your, definitely like your more advanced discerning customer that wants the premium, wants the Alula, wants the lightweight, and it's gonna appreciate the benefits of the stiffness as well as the lightness of this wing. So if you have any more questions about it, want more reviews, give us a call to shop. 252-987-6000, realwatersports.com. See you in the water for the next session. Woo, let's go.